Hey guys, and welcome to another installment of AA Computers and Technology. On my right, I have a Dell Inspiron 3521 laptop. This is my daily use laptop. You've probably seen this in a couple of videos, and it is time for a upgrade because the battery life on this thing sucks. When I bought it, new battery life was around three hours, just, you know, with moderate use, and that was fine for the moment being, but now since I'm in college and I'm running around everywhere and I don't really have time to charge this thing up, plus it's been a year uh, and the battery has kind of degraded a little bit. Uh, it's just not acceptable anymore. You know, I don't have the time to plug this in and charge it as often. Um, and it dies a lot. And then it just kind of leaves me stranded and screwed because then I don't have a laptop to do all my work on. So what I did is I went on Amazon, picked up a aftermarket battery. This is a, uh, well, in here is the battery. It's a 65 watt hour. Uh, I forget the name brand. I'll probably have to throw in an annotation. It's not on my mind right now, but a 65 watt hour battery. The battery in this is a 40 watt hour battery. And as I said, it was time for an upgrade. So we have an unboxing today. I'm about to rip this open because I've been waiting three days to get this um, open and in the laptop because I just haven't had time lately. So let's go ahead, get started and see what is in here. Now I am slightly concerned about this because I went on Amazon, I was browsing through the batteries, looking at the reviews, and a lot of the reviews weren't too great. Um, some people complained that, you know, these batteries didn't really fit in the laptops too well, they would just fall out randomly. And I tried to find the one with the best reviews, and this was it, this one was 20 bucks off Amazon. The link will be in the description if you have a uh, Dell Inspiron 3521 uh, and you wanna check it out uh, if this battery ends up being any good because we are gonna have to test it out after I open it. And of course, uh, this model of battery fits a a couple of her Dell laptops. I can't remember the uh, exact laptops off the top of my head though. So hopefully this works out and it's actually a decent battery because as I said earlier, a lot of the reviews had me concerned. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open and hopefully everything is coming out all right on camera. Um, I might go over and check that in a minute because I feel like I didn't leave a large enough frame to capture everything, but maybe not. I don't know, just not feeling it right now. <laughs> I just want to open this up. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and wow they look at look at this waste of, look at this waste of space and look at how they package that. Are you serious? Yeah, this is gonna do something when you have all that space. Look at that. That's stupid. How they package that? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, well I mean it came. It looks like it's all in one piece, but really guys, that's 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 a waste of material for one thing, and it really wasn't held you know in place in that box. So. Uh, that's kind of a, you know, thumbs down for that packaging job from Amazon, uh, but it did arrive on one piece, so I guess I can't really complain at the same time. I guess the brand is called uh, Syker, uh, laptop battery, and yep, there we go. It's 11.1 volt, 65 watt hour battery, and of course it's taped shut, so I'm going to have to open that up. Definitely going to have to grab some scissors here because my nails are not sharp enough. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this battery in the title because here it's labeled as SK style and on the box right here it's labeled as a Psyker battery. So I guess I'll just have to flip a coin and pick one. Aha! Got my pink scissors and I'm going to go ahead and crack this open. There we go. Hopefully I got all that tape. Eh, missed a little bit, but it opened up just fine. All right, so their packing job is actually pretty nice. I have a little foam piece right here. You'd think they would have one on the other side as well, but uh, I guess, you know, too much money right there. Um, there's the battery itself. It looks like it's in a uh, anti-static uh, bubble wrap, uh, well, wrap. And then right here we have, okay, it's just kind of like safety instructions. I mean, honestly, we really don't need these. They probably could have cut down on costs by not including that, but that's also a legal issue at the same time. So I guess they have to include that. And wow, all right, first impressions, this is a lot heavier than that other laptop battery. Uh, and it is slightly larger too. Let me go ahead and break the other one out. Uh, the other one doesn't have this little bump right here. Uh, and I don't think the other one has rubber feet on it either. So that's gonna be interesting. I wonder how it's gonna fit in my laptop case. Okay, so I have the two batteries side by side now, and there's definitely some extra bulk to this one. This one is the original 40 watt hour battery from Dell, and this is the new battery that we just took out of the box. As you can see, it does have that little raised piece on the back right there. It's not gonna really affect how it fits into the laptop, but it is going to affect the actual size uh, of the back of the laptop. So as I was saying earlier, I hope it still fits into my laptop carrying case, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be kind of uh, ticked off. I might have to switch back to this 
this battery because that uh, laptop carrying case is crucial uh, and it keeps it from getting uh, completely crushed in my backpack. So now uh, you can see right here is the one we just took out of the box and then right here is the battery that originally came in the laptop. Uh, I mean, I don't really think there's too much more to show you guys. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same as far as form factor goes. Really the only difference is the little bump right here and of course the rubber feet and that's about it. So the only thing left to do is to shove this into my laptop and see if it actually works. All right guys, so here is the moment of truth. I have the old laptop battery out now. I'm gonna go ahead and see if this one actually fits in the laptop. So I'm just gonna slide it in like so, push it down. And it does snap into place. Um, there is a slight gap right here. I think it is just slightly bigger than the gap with the original battery. Um, but for the most part, I'm actually surprised. It fits pretty well. And we're gonna go ahead and drag my laptop case out here and make sure it actually still fits into it. Because as I said, that is a critical trait for this laptop. It really needs to fit in here because this protects the laptop from being completely crushed inside my book bag. And as you can see, that fits just fine. You can see uh, it is slightly raised right here due to the battery, but besides that, I mean, everything's working out great so far. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and see if that battery actually works. They should have it uh, charged to at least like 50% or more because this is a lithium ion battery. I don't think they would let it die completely in shipping. Uh, so let's see what the charge is sitting at and if it even works at all. So second part of the test, does it work? And I actually like the fact that the battery raises the back of the laptop up just a tad. It lifts the keyboard towards you and it makes it a little bit easier to type. So that is nice. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on and make sure the battery does work. And then we might run it through some tests to see how long it does last. So I'm gonna move the laptop over here, open it up and we'll fire her up. There we go, just had to make some adjustments to the camera. You're looking at the screen now, and I apologize for the glare. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, the laptop is not plugged in, so once again, I am assuming that there is some charge in the battery. There should be some charge. It should not be completely dead because uh, it's a lithium ion battery, and that's not good for the cells. So let's go ahead and turn you on. There we go. So the battery's doing something there. And let's boot into Zubuntu and see what it is reading the battery as. As you can see, I brought up Power Manager and it's reading the battery as a 48 watt hour battery. Obviously that's not right. Well, it shouldn't be right. Um, so I plugged the laptop in. I'm gonna let it charge up all the way and see what the reading reads afterwards. I ran this through one whole charge cycle just to see what would happen. I drained the battery all the way down to 20% and then charged it back up to 100 and it's still reading it as a 48.8 watt hour battery. Of course the power manager in Zubuntu isn't the best way to gauge this. So uh, I'm not really too disappointed with that rating. It's still, you know, hovering around 50 watt hours according to this uh, and that's gonna be fine. You know, the, the older battery was sitting around uh, 30 watt hours because it had, uh, as I said, it had degraded over the year that I had been using it. So this is gonna last a lot longer than that battery regardless, but I'm gonna go ahead and test that out right now. I'm gonna uh, run a CPU stress test, leave this running at full load and see how long it lasts. Then of course I'm gonna break out this battery and we'll check out how long the old battery lasts. And of course we're gonna compare the two. So here's how this little test is going to work. I have the screen brightness cranked all the way up to 100% and while the laptop is unplugged, I'm gonna be running Prime95 on the CPU. This is a dual core Celeron. Uh, we have like eight gigabytes of RAM. I'll post up a picture of the BIOS so you can get all the good system specs. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be running Prime95 while the laptop is unplugged. Gonna be timing it with my phone and I'm gonna wait for it to drain the battery all the way down until the laptop cuts off. Uh, we're gonna record that time, write it down, and I'm gonna compare it with the older battery, uh, and we'll see how the two add up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the test, unplug the laptop, click OK, and of course it cranked the uh, screen brightness down. I forgot I did not change that setting, but we can fix that by just bumping it all the way up to 100%. And here we go. I should probably start the timer as well. Ready, set, go. Test with the new battery. I went to go do some other things. It's been about an hour and a half and the battery is still running strong. It's sitting at about 50% and honestly, I don't think the older battery is even going to last this long. Hi, I just tried to kick in the battery saver mode. No, you don't. Don't tell me what to do.
The laptop has finally died. We're sitting at two hours and 32 minutes for the new laptop battery. I have the old laptop battery on standby. I'm gonna throw it in and then test this one out. Um, honestly, I don't think the older laptop battery could even last uh, two and a half hours while just sitting idle, not even doing anything. So uh, I doubt we'll even get an hour out of this, but we will see. Here we go again. The old battery is in. I'm unplugging the laptop. I'm about to start the timer. Oh, come on. <laughs> Didn't get it the first time, got the second time though. And we are going to select the same test that we used last time and let's go ahead and begin. All right, so the original battery pack actually lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. It uh, lasted up to an hour and 43 minutes. So uh, not too bad. You can see it still had some life ah! left in it, but that other battery pack lasted quite a bit longer. And of course, this thing will not get in focus. There we go. You can see hour and 43 minutes just for reference. At first, I was a little bit skeptical about the rating that the Zubuntu Power Manager gave me as far as the new battery's capacity was concerned, but after that test, I think it was close, if not spot on. This definitely isn't a 65 watt hour battery, uh, probably more along the lines of a 50 watt hour battery. Now, that being said, uh, it is still greater than the original battery's capacity uh, when it was new, but it didn't live up to what was advertised, unfortunately. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that this is a bad battery pack. What it does mean is that the seller needs to go on their webpage and update the description so it's a little bit more accurate. 65 watt hours is definitely deceiving because uh, as I said, this should be more along the lines of a 50 watt hour battery battery. Um, so it is a pretty solid battery pack. It slides into the laptop well, fits really well. I uh, put the battery in, shook the laptop around. It's not like it flew out or anything. And it is above the original OEM battery packs rated capacity. And on top of that, it's actually pretty cheap, 20 bucks for this. So if you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been checking out the blog lately, I suggest you do. Uh, I just bought something and it's supposed to be here in April and I'm really excited about it. Bought it off Indiegogo. I think you guys should check it out because you might be interested in it as well. Um, is there anything else? Oh yeah, if you want to support the channel, you can go ahead and use our general Amazon affiliate link, buy whatever you want, and we get a small commission off that. Uh, I really appreciate it. Some of you guys have already been using it. Someone bought like groceries, went on a shopping spree with it. So I uh, really do appreciate that. It really helps me out. So thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.